I have not been in crisis mode as many times as I have been in the past week because of Starbucks. First it was the unicorn frappuccino. And now today we have a dragon frappuccino. a great day. I was recovering from the unicorn frappuccino, but now that this has happened, obviously I've cleared my entire schedule. We gotta go. Wait, like right now. I'm out of town in Texas visiting Madeline, who I have now dragged on this adventure. We do things extreme, and when something crazy comes out in the world, we gotta try it immediately. Put a siren on this car, flooring it to Starbucks right now. I'm literally flooring it right now, and that's the best my car can do. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. I love mythical. Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales? Dragon Thumbs Tales, up if you watch Dragon, Dragon Tales. I am hoping that Starbucks learned a few things from what appear to be not the best situation with the unicorn drink. But I gotta say my expectations are low, but they are high in terms of magicalness. <laughs> Back at this joint. Oh my god, the Starbucks doesn't have it. Okay, so we just hit our first Starbucks and they don't have it. This is part of it, chasing the dragon frappuccino. Here we go. Hi, do you guys have the dragon frappuccino? Um, let me go and ask real fast. I'm in the back. Are we a day early? I'll look it I'll up online. Seriously, I got all excited about nothing. Yo. It's a secret drink. This is not a secret. It's not about to be. No, ma'am, this location does not have that. Do you know if it's like out at other locations? My coworkers had never heard of it, so I don't believe why doesn't anyone at the Starbucks we've called know what the hell we're talking about? Yeah, because it was all this over is. the news. It says, while there's not an official re recipe yet, some Instagram users who have tried the drink think it's a mix of green tea frappuccino. Oh, 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 it's a you secret. Know. Okay, yeah, if you can uh, provide the recipe for us up here, then we can make it. See, that looks great. I don't think it's an official drink. It seems like a fan drink. Not on the menu, it's a secret item. I guess we're gonna go to a different Starbucks and see if they can make it custom Wait, for us. Should we call? What if we call Starbucks headquarters? Okay guys, we're going to our third Starbucks of the day to try and find this drink. I did a little bit of research and it turns out that this drink actually doesn't exist on the Starbucks menu and in fact was created by some people in Southern California at Starbucks who were trying to appease customers who couldn't get a unicorn frappuccino because they ran out of supplies. So things are a little bit more complicated, but we are now on a college campus, going to a college campus Starbucks to see if these college student workers will comply and make us this dang drink. We're literally at a library Starbucks. Hi. Hi, so we found this recipe for like a secret menu item called the dragon frappuccino and it's like, do you guys have berry syrup? Or pink white mocha? This is ridiculous. <laughs> but okay, so we're at this Starbucks oh, sorry. and I called the original. They made it? They made it? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Thank you so much. We went to three different Starbucks. Nobody knew what was going on. So I called the Starbucks in Walnut, California that originated this dragon frappuccino and I got the instructions verbatim from them and delivered them to the student workers at the SMU Starbucks in the library. And you know what? Paid off. Cause look what we got right here, boom. Here's the dragon frappuccino. We spent about 20 minutes taking Instagram pictures with it, which was obviously really worth it because that's 90% of the reason why you buy this thing. But now we will evaluate if it's better. Hopefully it is. It's so good. Are you serious? Like, it's just like a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. Can you taste the stuff at the bottom, the pink stuff? No, it just tastes like vanilla mocha. Give me that, give me that. I don't, be I don't believe this, it's okay? good. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> what? It's so oh. good. This is so good. This is so much better than the unicorn drink. 
you know, I think the great thing about this versus the unicorn one is the unicorn was just like a fake fruit overload sugar, but like the, the like concentrated fruit kind of sugar. And this is just like all the good stuff. Basically the ingredients are green tea, frappuccino with vanilla bean, and then the purple, this is the really creative part, which I love, is the sprinkles from the unicorn frappuccino blended with white mocha, yeah? yeah, with white mocha, which is so creative. Visually, five out of five, like looks awesome, but tastes great. Starbucks employees at in Walnut, California, amazing job, Yeah, 10 out of 10. Night and day, you know, last week, I went out and I bought the unicorn frappuccino with incredibly high hopes, which were incredibly crushed. Then, today, woke up, saw that this is all over the internet, needed to try it for myself with very low expectations, and we came out feeling great. Super good. We're back home after that insane adventure. All in all, it was good. We finished it, it was really good. Also, special thanks to Starbucks for keeping me on my toes this entire past week with these trendy drinks. It's been fun, I gotta say. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and as always, please subscribe to this channel so that we can continue going on crazy adventures. Bye! It's so good.